the weather is turning cold. <laughs> it is time to head south. We have been in Wisconsin for seven months. We got back earlier than normal and later than normal. And now, this time, for a little while, we're gonna have a passenger with us. His name is Bob. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his line. And we are getting ready to head out from Wisconsin today. Yesterday was a gorgeous day. It was like 70 something. And now today it's more typical. It's like in the 50s and it's going to be getting colder. So it is time to head south. We've got some catching up to do. We'll let you know some things we've been up to. Let's get going. We stayed at this fairgrounds several times over the summer, the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. It is $35 a night if you use their water, just water and electric. Down here they have some full hookups. There's a whole bunch of sites way, way down along the fence line that of course there's nobody there now, but they have all the way down there. Over here there's more campsites. We stayed a few times at this one over the summer where we had some shade. We stayed one time um, in front of, on this side of that Class A in the grass. This is a great park if you're ever looking for one. It's $35 a night for water and electric and the water you fill up as you come in unless you get this site where we have the water right there. <laughs> And otherwise, it's 45 for the full hookup. One of the big advantages to this park is that it was open later than the others. A lot of the other campgrounds are closed by now. It is late October, and most of them closed the middle of October. We'll tell you why we were here so late. Um, this fairgrounds has activities all the time. Sometimes you can't get in because of the activities and other times it's kind of fun you can be here while those things are going on. So just make sure you check ahead and you do make reservations ahead of time. On Online? You make reservations online? You can. Yeah. Otherwise there's been times we just kind of pulled in, didn't we? And yes. took our chances and found out we could get a spot. We have no idea how many um, sites there are here there's a lot yes <laughs> uh, it probably I mean back behind the barns there there's a whole bunch more that for um, sites back there so we're thinking you think maybe 150 at least yeah and at times it is completely full because of the events that are going on here if you watch the video on me riding inside the RV while we were going down the road. This was the road we were going down. We yeah. were, we this were, is the breakneck speed we were going. Yes. <laughs> what are you going? <laughs> five miles an hour? <laughs> yeah, <it's a> seven. <laughs> we, we went, um, I was um, inside. You'll have to watch it. It's kind of cute. I'll put a link to it up above here. And it was uh, something we don't recommend you do, but we thought, oh, it's such a short distance. And then we hit the gravel, and that's when things got a little more interesting. They, they also have a Halloween thing going on here. Uh, they've got a Scully's... House of ha Terror. Yes, House of Terror. <laughs> we did not go to that. Not, in, not into terror. These. There's a dump station here that we have used different times, even when we didn't stay at the, at the fairgrounds. It's $10 to dump your tanks if you don't stay here, but it's free, of course, if you do stay here. I can't believe this is finally happening. It feels so weird. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, since my mom passed away, we don't go to Minnesota now when we came back. We ended up meeting my Minnesota brother and his wife, my sister-in-law, part way one time this summer. Um, but otherwise, we didn't get back to Minnesota at all. 
and we spent all, all of it except for two trips to Freeport, Illinois. Gary served a church down there uh, several years ago and we, he went back as a guest preacher for one and we went back just to visit for a second time. We got some dear friends down there. Well, let's go back. First of all, we came back earlier than normal. We came back in late March. Our daughter had twin boys on um, the end of February. And we came back dodging the tornadoes and all the spring storms in the south and uh, got back and found out they had things pretty much under control and they didn't need us as much as we had hoped they would. But it was fun seeing them whenever we could. So we, so we came back quite a bit earlier. We normally come back like in middle of May or even sometimes even later than that. So that was different. Then we stayed late because our kids from Canada, from British Columbia, decided to come in October. And they went to his parents down in Ohio first, and then they came up this way second. And the weather was pretty cooperative the whole time. And um, for their travels now going back, they're traveling at the same time we are, but we're going different directions. And we had so much fun with them. And uh, we have a new traveler with us for a little while because of one of our grandsons. And we'll tell you about him in a little while. Some other changes that we don't normally do is that Gary serves some churches this summer, not as a long-term vacancy type thing, but just um, filling in on a few Sundays here and there at different ones. One was down in Lancaster, uh, Wisconsin, down in the south west corner of the state, beautiful part of the state, and so we did that once a month, and then we would spend three days there each time, and then uh, he filled in in Illinois, like I said, and then what was, or, and then Green Lake, went back to Green Lake, Gary served that vacancy, that was a late summer vacancy a few years ago, and so that was fun seeing everybody again. Then we finished up in Cambridge. Yes, for one Sunday, and that was just recently. So that was different than what we normally do. He usually takes the summers off. But it's always a great way to see everybody again, and it's, it's always a, a, a joy to be able to do that. When we are by Gary's mom's, that's typically when we see our other son. He's our um, bachelor son. And we get to, it's a little closer to see him there and we'll get together and do some fun things with him and the other thing that was different this summer was that we got to see a little bit more of the state we haven't usually been able to do a lot of traveling because there's been more family things going on and this year our grandkids are growing up here in Wisconsin except for the babies but the others are all growing up they all have jobs in the summers and we just didn't see that as much of them as we would have liked to. And that's gonna probably continue to be that way. Two of them are gonna be looking at college um, in another year. So um, things are changing. And we we looked at houses. We looked for houses. We looked for um, mobile homes. We looked at different options on that. We did some videos on that too, on how mobile homes are not the affordable housing that they used to be and why and if you didn't see those videos we got a link to that up above and we saw at least two sets of friends that we haven't seen in over 10 years each so that was fun then we had other friends that we kept trying to get together with but their schedules and our schedules were retired it's like when you're retired you're supposed to be able to have more time but <laughs> it just takes longer figure things out. No, I don't know. We're just all, everybody's busy. Yeah. We had a full week with our family and grandkids from uh, British Columbia, Canada, and we saw them every single day and we did stuff with them every day, which was so much fun. We cannot put them into our videos. We did do, we're doing some videos and some pictures of things we've done on our Facebook page. Um, of things that we've done with them, but we can't 
put them in the pictures or in the videos. We promised our kids when we started this channel and our public Facebook page that we would not feature them if they didn't want us to and they all decided they didn't want to. None of them have a big social media presence and uh, they just were not comfortable with that and we honor that. So you will not see the kids, but we're gonna introduce you to Bob. Just to clarify, the reason we were looking for places to live was just to have a home base because things are things could be changing with Gary's mom in the future. She's 94 now, still living in her own home, and things could change. And we wanted to just have a base home for when we do get back from our travels. We might be changing the way we travel. We might be changing our home. But we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> we might have to do make some changes with that too. Um, oh, in one of our more recent videos, we told you how all the things we did to our RV to make her look pretty, to make her look good, because she's 24 years old now. And we wanted to make sure that everything was good so we could get accepted into more RV parks. Even as good as she was, we have been turned away because she was over 10 years old. But we have the place that we're going to for the winter, we sent pictures, and we have been accepted. So we will have a place to stay for the winter while Gary's serving a church vacancy in Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi, Texas, down by the Padre Islands. We've been wanting to get there the last few years, and we just never had the time to get there, and now we're going to be right there. So that's going to be awesome. There's a lot of bird watching, butterflies, all kinds of things that migrate down that way in the winter. So that'll be great. Finally get to be by the, the Gulf. We don't know about much about the city, but we have heard some wonderful things about it. And some um, anybody who's been there has told us it's beautiful. We're looking forward to that. And the temperatures are gonna be much warmer down there than they were last year in Dallas, Fort Worth area. It was also a very dry summer in Wisconsin. Not real hot. It was pretty comfortable most of the summer. We only had a couple of times, a couple of weeks where it was where it was more in the 90s, but otherwise it's it was very comfortable. No mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, that was amazing because I am a mosquito magnet and we did not have a lot of mosquitoes at all. That was great but unfortunately it was because it was dry and that's not so good the season the colors did not peak um, until just this last week that they, they just everything was green 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 and then all of a sudden overnight things just started coming out and turning more color so as we go south we hope we'll still be seeing some color in other parts of the country uh, we had a lot of wind yesterday that took a lot of leaves off. But as we get to more scenic areas here, I'll, I'll show you those. Another change this year was that because we weren't seeing our family as much, we were doing more traveling, like, like we already said, but we were also staying at more campgrounds. And a lot of them were city parks. We discovered some new ones of those. We just, there's a video on that, on uh, two of them and county parks. county parks and and state parks and we've got videos on those too we have a lot of videos if you haven't seen them uh, <laughs> we still managed to do a bit of mooch docking as well a little bit but not right. even that much this year right and when we mooch dock we don't just park and take advantage of people we don't do that we usually help them out in some way shape or form and uh, while we're there. And I did more purging. We still have some things at his mom's upstairs and we've been kind of working on going through some of those things and deciding what to keep and what not to keep. Every year I come back and I'm like, I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore. And there's still more that I would like to move out and I'd be probably doing a big chunk of that when 
we come back next spring. And speaking of purging, if you didn't see that video, I did a review on a book that's about Swedish death cleaning. So check that out if you haven't seen that yet. I'm going to introduce you to Bob here. Just wanted to tell you one more thing. We are not sure where we're going our first day yet. We're kind of heading down towards Peoria, St. Louis area. We think that's all the further we'll get today. And then we were going to go to Branson because we have seen other friends of ours post pictures and um, things that they've done in Branson and the Ozarks and some uh, hiking trails and things that they went on and we really were looking forward to that. But the time that we're going to be there is going to be very rainy, like 100% chance of rain both days and one of the nights is going to be 32 degrees at night. So I don't know for sure, we will decide that tomorrow. Yes. And by the time you see this, we will already have probably been through there. And we're going to be heading towards seeing some friends along our way in Texas and hopefully maybe in Texarkana area. We've got some friends there that we'd like to meet up with and uh, several places we have to go. And then we have to be down in Corpus Christi by the 16th of November. So we've got a lot of traveling to do in a short amount of time. Want to meet Bob? We went to Violet Zoo one day while we were, while our kids from Canada were here, and our six year old grandson found Bob. His name wasn't Bob at the time, he named him Bob. And he found him on the ground, and he, we told him he could keep him because we didn't know where it came from. We didn't know, there was nobody else around us, and it looked like it had been there a while. So whoever dropped it, it was, Losers, weepers, finders, keepers? Something like that. And we told him he could keep it. So he was pretty excited about it. Well, before they left, he handed it to me and he said, uh, you keep it. And I thought, oh, okay, well, thank you. Well, then we found out after they left, to start going back to Vancouver, to the Vancouver area, is that he, thought it was mine and that I lost it and he gave it back to me. Now he's sad because he doesn't have it anymore. Well, we told him we were going to take Bob with us for a while and then I'll mail it to him. But in the meantime, Bob is going to be traveling with us and he's going to see some of the things we're seeing and we're going to share those pictures with him uh, and we'll share them with you as well. This is Bob. <laughs> and the little guy on his back is Bob Jr. And the boys named him, and we thought it was really cute. So we're going to be taking Bob and Bob Jr. on some of our travels. So be watching for that as well. <laughs> Elvis has left the building. Or in our case, the Johnsons have left Wisconsin. <laughs> Someone else heading south. Even with all the changes that we went through this last summer, you probably went through a bunch yourselves, and all the changes that are happening in our nation and in our world, we know that God is watching over us. He's watching over you too. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, God, God bless. bless.